boop, boop. It's almost bright enough. Hey! Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jade Monkey. We're back here in Rust Console Edition for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. And this is all about how to do the launch site puzzle with absolutely no key card and no fuse. That's right. It's currently a glitch, uh, but the fundamentals for this are still the same. So even if you're prepping to do the actual puzzle, uh, the prep for this is still uh, very much useful. So... Uh, yeah, this will most likely get patched out, but uh, this is different from like a no key card loot run where you're going around doing all the different loot sections in this particular puzzle, which is the highest tier so far. This is a red card puzzle. Ooh, we gotta got a Plumbus over there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and link the launch site no key card video now in the upper right hand corner. -loop, if you want to go check that out. And so, yeah, this is different. This is the glitch. So if you're here on and you're like, hey, I want to get that high-end loot, that red card loot, that top-tier stuff, not just the launch site here, but I'm talking like the puzzle on top of the actual structure itself. And this is a glitch. So, again, this will get patched eventually. Uh, there is a gap in the geometry, and uh, we're going to slip, slip our way through. Okay, first things first. Uh, for the prep, actually, just before the prep, <laughs> uh, if you are trying to do the actual puzzle for the launch site, I do have a video on that when uh, this does get patched and there are key cards and fuses that you are going to have to use. I will link that now in the upper right-hand corner. Go check that out if you're trying to do the actual puzzle itself. It's not bad to know this uh, outright, but anyways. All right, so some of the things you need are definitely a hazmat suit. If you can't afford a hazmat suit or you can't find one, there is the snow jacket out here. Where are you, snow jacket? There it is, snow jacket, 20 scrap. Super cheap. You can learn it for 20 scrap as well. Uh, put on some of the wooden pants, uh, some crappy burlap, and you should be good to go. You just need 25 and up protection. Red suit's the best. The hazmat suit It's the one I have on. Uh, okay, so what else do you need? Probably a weapon, but you can get by without one. I would bring some med pens or lots of bandages, anti-radiation pills. And you ready for this? You ready for me to blow your mind? Water. Water's going to curtail a lot of the radiation again, just like doing the actual puzzle itself. And yes, the dew collectors do have functionality here. Can you believe it? We're going to take a good handful of this. We're going to use the anti-radiation, the healing, and the water to curtail this. That should be more than enough. All right, let's go. I don't want to put it in my main hand because I have a tendency to just dump it like a like an idiot. All right, so we're going to head over there now. We've got some weapons. we got some higher-end stuff. we got a Timothy, the Pumpy. Um, yeah, you don't necessarily need all this stuff. I've done it with just a Revy. Uh, sometimes I've done it with nothing, just a crossbow. So if you're just starting off and you're trying to get that high-end loot, people are always like, where the rock is, where you get armored doors, this is a place you can get it. These are the elite crates, not to be confused with the military crates that spawn at the top. The cycle for this is roughly 30 to 45 minutes, if you're wondering, and we're heading for this structure right here. All right, so one of the hazards out here is definitely the Bradley. If you haven't met him, he's kind of a teabag. Uh, so we might have to kite him around a little bit. This doesn't get any more real than this. Plus, we're on a, an official server, and uh, we might get clapped once or twice. So here we go. You know what I mean? Oh, man, I mean, I want to go loot that back there. so bad. <laughs> so, yes, hopefully this is... We're doing this during patch 103. 104 should be coming in relatively soon. And uh, then we'll get the power surge update. So depending on when you watch this, uh, there may be some hiccups and glitches you may see here that... Ooh, may or may not be patched. All right, that clickety-clack means Sir Bradley is here. It's best not to aggro him and get him away from the front face of the building. Okay, there he is. He's way out there. Good, good, good. Stay out there, my guy, please. Oh, we scared the horse. Okay, so we're heading into the bullpen area here. Uh, it's literally on the front face of this building. And again, since the maps will change a little bit, please stay over there, Mr. Bradley man. Uh, things are procedural. Freak out, horse! Oh, man, he's going to come right down the chute, isn't he? Oh, he's going in the front. He would. Go away, dude. Let's see if we can... Okay, so anyways. Let's see if I can spot it from here while we're waiting for Bradley to literally leave us alone. He's the biggest threat out here next to players. Although there are plenty of players coming through here, and I think a lot of people are starting to figure out this glitch. And even if they don't, if they're doing the puzzle itself... This is a very popular puzzle. Like, since we don't have oil rig and stuff yet, um, I mean, I say yet, but we don't actually know if we're going to get it, but um, it makes it difficult uh, to do the high-end stuff. This is the only place we can really get it, aside from some of the other global events, like taking down Mr. Bradley. All right, hopefully he goes away. <laughs> oh, dude, that's so scary. Go away, dude. Yeah, I don't want him to lock on and start hitting me because it becomes a big problem. 
I definitely don't want to do this at night because it's much harder to show you guys. I'm going to try going around this way, the opposite side. Maybe he'll leave me alone. His aggro range is pretty wide on this version. If you didn't know, we're currently running like a, a 2018 hybrid. I'm going to avoid Mr. Pig. So yeah, let me tell you the, the, the glitch or whatever. And I'm sure the geometry is going to be fixed because it has been on the PC. The, uh, there's a window frame there that's kind of got this weird overlap where you can jump and crouch away in almost like a, a window frame or a window sill in the game itself. So if you've gotten good at that, the jump, uh, this is virtually the same jump. It's just decorated differently. So, uh, yeah, if you practice your jumps and the window sills on your base and you'll get this one. Because you can't do it, like, right up on the rim. You have to back up a little bit. Okay, so we've got my rad protection on. I'm going to put my water down here. I've got the heels. And we'll show you like a heel zone in the back. If I can run the whole puzzle to run upstairs, I'll do it. But we might get clapped. There might be people here. Like I said, it doesn't get any more real than this. See a bunch of these window frames? Uh, it's one in the front that's got the gap in it. Normally, you'd have to have a red card and a fuse to do this. Actually, a red card and a green card. Oh, I should be saying that. I forgot. The, the building oozes radiation, if you didn't know. Okay, he's gone. Let's get up there. Okay, so you're going to take radiation. That's the whole reason why you've got the water. Oh, no. It's coming back in. All right, it's this gap right here. And we have to stand away from the windowsill just a little bit and then jump in. Oh. I had it. He's coming this way. I got to go. Oh. We're going outside and around. And there's a deer here. Deer was fast. Don't bite me. So one of the <laughs> we might as well do this here. Is I, I didn't expect Mr. Bradley to be camping it. There is a room back here. If you're trying to get back out, you flick this switch and you'll be able to hit the red buttons to leave the structure. And also in this back corner is a place where you do not take radiation. So if you need to come in and like heal after we may be doing this over and over again, because it's kind of a hard jump, especially when you have Bradley breathing down your throat. Um, that's a good place to heal and kind of collect yourself. Dude, can we do this while somebody's doing the Bradley? That would be sick. Yeah, that thing's looking right at me. That's so scary. So we might have a big old jump cut. So bear with me. We're going to try to skirt this thing around. This Bradley really knows how to guard this area, doesn't he? Okay, I think he's gone. Oh, perfect. Okay. Here's the window right here, and we're going to go inside of this gap. We're going to jump like it's a windowsill, and we're going to strafe into it. you got to be away from the frame a little bit and kind of crouch into it and then, like, strafe over. There we go. So, yeah, you have to aim for the seam like this. Back away like it's a windowsill. Pretend this doesn't exist. And you're jumping onto this ledge right here from left to right. And then, like, this doesn't exist. So you want to be on the ledge and jump into it like it's a windowsill. And then be crouched the entire time. Now, again, once you're inside, if you need to take a breather or leave the faci facility's vicinity, sometimes you can press this uh, if somebody has activated the generator. And that's how you get out. Because remember, when you're in here, you take mad radiation damage. So what you want to do... So you want to go over here and make sure the switch is flipped so when you're ready to leave, you can. And you can come back here and heal if you've taken a lot of damage because there will be people in here. That's how this works. So back over here into the corner, you should take... Hopefully the radiation damage doesn't go up. And this is a place where you can heal. Or it used to be... There we go. It's going down. Jeez. Okay. So this is one of the reasons why you want to bring water. You start to drink the water using your inventory like this. I actually shouldn't have it on my hot bar at all. It kills the radiation poisoning and then you can heal. Uh, it helps to eat stuff. You want to do like slow burns. Sometimes it helps with bandages and such. And then you could do this whole puzzle. See, once that switch is flipped, I think I just flipped it, yeah. We're going to try to do this and go to the top. I'm going to show you some of the crates. Boom, that's how you would leave. Or let somebody in. All right, quickly, we're going to try to do this. I'm sorry we had some jump cuts and stuff. I didn't expect somebody to be there. Let's see if I can remember this on the spot, right? All right, so I'm taking mad radiation. Again, uh, that uh, link in the cards that's got the, the full puzzle will help you do this. Because eventually this will get patched, but this will help you get familiar with it now, and it helps new players get on their feet. 
Uh, this is a lot of really great stuff to help with your base, especially if you're solo or duo. It's really good for um, all that kind of protection. I mean, everybody wants the, the rockets and stuff. People ask me all the time, how do you get those rockets? Well, this is one way to do it. You won't get it every time, but this does help your chances. And again, I've got a full video on how to do this whole puzzle, but we're going to try to speed run this. Watch, I and I mess it up. See how many crates are on the inside, too? It's real nice. Ladder should be fixed. We're operating in 102. Or I'm sorry, 103.2. Ooh, a milli crate. What's up? I'm going to pick that up. There's Mr. Bradley. So you always got to remember, if somebody might be around to tag you in here, you have to be on your feet. I got scared for a second. And be ready to heal yourself on the way down. Okay, so right now, I'm taking a fair amount of radiation. I'm kind of stockpiling it. And then I'm going to use my radiation pills towards the end when I really need it, because they really clear it. And they give you like a, a buff for a period of time. I'm just going to go on this and drink. I believe I'm in a safe spot, and I'm going to try to eat a little bit. I'm trying to really save the heals, heals. And then we jump up here. Then we turn here, and then we go up. Now remember, it's not your loot until you get out of here alive. Hopefully we got some crates up here to show you guys. We'll show you. Oh, I mean, you saw the military crate on the way up, which is really good. But the elite crates only spawn on world events and things like red card places. So in the future, if there's an oil rig, there's a red card event there. Oh, there she is. That elite crate looking so hot. See that thing? Two of them. Nice. Wow, this is the place to go. Look at that. Rocket tubes. Face mask. And I see why Chad's live up by the watch site. Right? Look at this elite crate looking so fine. Yeah, I'm taking a screenshot. So what? Oh, yeah. Dude, it's so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, furnace? Psh. Okay, now I have to be really careful. I have double digit radiation damage. I'm going to take radiation pills, and I'm going to start to heal myself, and I'm going to start to eat. i got to get off this rooftop. It's killing me. I just want the loot. It's, I mean, this is a server we play on. Heck, this is one of the servers we zerged on. i to be careful. Now, the Bradley can be a serious problem. So, again, I've got multiple routes of how to get out of here. Watch your auto run when you're coming down here, by the way. Tap back on your stick so you don't walk off the edge. And the idea is to go back inside and then snake your way back out. Now, if I get wrecked here, I, we're going to end it. Because, <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, you can drop down here, but you're going to take deeps. Do this one. Ouch. And then, isn't there one right here, I think? Yep, we can kind of fade away a little bit. Oh, my. Dude, are we paid? We're just doing like a, a quick guide on this and we're out of our minds with with loot. I like to hug this and kind of soften the fall. Eat some more. Buff up. Remember, we hit the switch earlier, so we're good. Oh, somebody closed it. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's on a timer. It shuts off. Duh. I spent too much time upstairs. All right, so there you have it. That is how you do the launch site window glitch with absolutely no key card or fuse. And again, this is temporary. It'll only be around for a little bit. But uh, again, a lot of the fundamentals are still here for prep and even some approach. So yes, be sure to check out those other videos. If you find it useful and helpful, be sure to drop a like. It does help out quite a bit. And we'll see you guys in the next video slash live stream. Love you. Bye.